This is not about moments of seeing. Do not fall into the trap that this is about moments of seeing. That is just turning this into some objective experience. Then the mind goes back to searching for a practice to get back to that experience. But this is missing the mark entirely. All those thoughts, practices, and evaluations are presently arising thoughts, mere mind stuff. In what are all those thoughts being registered? Who knows them? In and through all those thoughts and concepts, have you gone anywhere? Have you stopped being and being aware? Recognize that being is litter, ally, ever-present. Once you start to see the stark, basic truth of this, you will see how everything the mind thinks about the spiritual understanding is based on a misconception. All the mind's beliefs and concepts are based on the assumption that it, reality, is not here, that reality comes and goes, that you are a person apart from this, or that being is an experience in the flow of time. But that is a complete reversal of the facts. Thoughts, time, experiences, concepts, feelings arise and set with within your own aware presence. Your being is the necessary precondition for those to be perceived. There are not people who got it or will get it. That whole construct gets tossed overboard. You are what you are seeking. Even the notion that dropping of concepts must happen before you get there is a concession to the dualistic, conceptual mind. There is no entity. There has never been a separation from being. It is all an illusion, a false assumption. All the talk about entities, getting it, seeing, and so on is just concepts, and erroneous ones at that. Pause those thoughts. Set them aside. Where are you right now? What actually needs to be attained if you cease to follow those concepts? Can you be outside of present being? If you think so, see if you can do it. All the paths and approaches based on gradual arrival are false. Even the approach of many moments of returning to that is faulty in my view. It is still predicated on the assumption that you are not that. I suggest that you challenge those beliefs and assumptions. Turn away from thoughts and mental constructions completely. The answer is not in the mind. The net of the mind's concepts about this stuff is a trap. Fortunately, you can step free of it. You are free of it because your true nature, your being itself, is not in the mind. The mind comes and goes in being itself. A resonance simply arises with the pointer that you are already free, because that freedom is what you are. Before the next thought, feeling, experience, or emotion appears, you are... That is it. And you are that.